Hey, Sean, you'll have to forgive if you can hear it. There's a jazz group playing in a studio nearby, and there's nothing I can do about that. So if you can hear it, enjoy it. I saw a video a couple weeks ago on Vsauce 2, one of Kevin's videos, talking about a math problem that no one could solve, and then the solution came from a 10-year-old who came up with this. It was an interesting video hearing him talk about what the solution did for other people who were trying to solve this. But the problem was this. You've got a bunch of rolls of pennies, and one of the rolls is all counterfeit pennies. And the difference between a counterfeit penny and a regular penny is that a counterfeit penny weighs a fraction of a gram less than a, a regular penny. And you've got a scale that you can weigh things with, but you can only use it one time. You can only take one weight measurement. How do you figure out which of the rolls of pennies is the counterfeits taking only one weight measurement? And I, I won't share the solution here. You can watch the video. I'll put it in the description. But it's exciting that, that when someone did find the solution and shared it, it enabled everyone who now knows that solution to apply it or variations of it or, or solutions inspired by that solution to solve other problems, maybe in a different way. And I started to think about what this does for video. And, and, and in, his, in Kevin's video, he talks about, we have these tools we use to solve problems, these things that are instinctual to us and that when we are, are faced with a problem, we go through our tools and try to find a way to solve it. And there's some things that we can learn from experience, we can really figure out if we take enough time, but there's other things that unless you find it from someone else who's found it and iterated on it and built it, there's just no way to come up with that, at least quickly. And once you know something like that, you become better, you become more capable. And I started to think about this in terms of video. And, and then I expanded it to, you know, in business, in art, in creativity, wherever you are, whatever you're learning in sports, whatever it is, if you can find a different solution that you can learn from somewhere else, it enables you to approach things differently and it makes you capable of things that you weren't capable of before, which is really, really neat. And so there, there's a book called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon. I think that's how you say it. I've made videos about this book before and I love my copy of it and I still need to deliver it to someone who asked to borrow it. And I, I love when people borrow it and they mark things up and the, the book is just growing with more and more notes. But the same thing applies. A lot of times when I get hired, it's because I've solved a lot of problems on set. I've been faced with annoying situations as I've been filming for the past 13 years. And when I go out to film something else, not only am I taking steps to prepare so I can avoid some of the problems that I've had in the past, but I also know how to quickly deal with problems that have come up, faulty gear, things like that. I know how to solve these things because I've seen them fail over the past 13 years. But... There's situations I haven't faced and working with people who have and sharing our knowledge and borrowing from other people is such a good way to make all of us better at, at, at doing what we do. And this is how new gear gets created. This is how new VFX, new editing techniques, new video styles get created. It's because we're iterating off one another and sharing solutions and things like that. And so if you're finding yourself ha having, having struggles in whatever you're doing, don't feel bad diving into YouTube and looking for people who have dealt with, with things like that before because by equipping yourself with things that you wouldn't have found by just grinding away, taking your same set of tools at it again and again and again, stepping to the right or left to find something that you wouldn't have found before is a really, really intentional, smart way to get better at what you do. And I find it inspiring that in the video community, I can think of only one exception uh, there was one person I worked with who was just not open to feedback. And it was the strangest, weirdest thing because everyone else I've worked with, even people who have a lot more experience, who are a lot more expensive than I am, I've hired these people. And at the end of a shoot, they're like, hey, is there anything I could do better? Is there anything with this type of client uh, or this sort of work that you've seen work or not work? That attitude is so important to being good at what you do, to being easy to work with, and to continue to get better and better at what you're doing. So take that with you and, and, and share what you learn, share what you do in your art, find places. YouTube can be a wonderful collaborative place. Uh, it can be a dark place with the comments sometimes, but just delete those and don't worry about them. Create some stuff and share your process with those around you. And if you have the opportunity to work with someone who's just getting into your field, don't feel threatened by them. 
hire them, find a way to share work with them because I, whenever I get to work with new people, there's always something that comes up where we're setting up, we're getting things lit and they're like, hey, why do you do it that way? And four out of five times, I'm like, oh, I do it this way because I know it works this way and and I, I've, I've seen success with this again and again. But one in five times, somebody's like, well, why don't you do it that way instead? And it's like, oh, I don't know. I, I probably should. That's a good idea. And so take that attitude with you, share your knowledge and be open to knowledge from other people. And you will find yourself having a happier career. You'll find yourself creating better stuff and you'll find yourself having better collaboration with people who can make you better. I said better a lot because it's better to do things this way. Thanks for watching. That's all I got. See you later. Bye.